the area of discovery and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Crazy prices. Man, I got this for 500 bucks. Oh, hey guys! Welcome back to my video. Um, I know this isn't my usual spot. I'm currently in another location with a Windows computer. It's very slow. It's with an i5. But, it's a computer, guys. So as I was, as I was talking about, go ahead and come on over. So as you guys can see, we got a couple of different options here for anybody who really likes PCs. I'm more of, I'm more of a Mac guy, as you guys know. I have the Mac Studio. Um, yeah, let's see something that's com that's comparable to it. I guess you know. Let's see, let's see what see what they have. See, you know, something in the five to. One terabyte range. Uh, let's see. You know I got four. You know I got four Thunderbolts, so it needs to have Thunderbolt connectivity. Uh, let's see. What else does it have? Let's see how much RAM they have. I don't think they have much RAM here. Operating system. Well, I think it's the only ones here is Windows. <laughs> Windows isn't that great. Um, to compete with the M1 Max, probably gonna have to go i9 as well. And let's see what they have. Oh, uh, nothing? Jeez, man. You see, this is what happens when you guys go with Windows. This is why you guys should go with Macs. So, this Mac Studio, as you guys can see, is an absolute beast and can handle a lot of different workflows is absolutely wonderful and comparing it to the Mac mini the difference here in size is pretty noticeable but honestly it is so worth it as you guys can see the two USB ports here along with you guys can see back there the HDMI port the two USB A's that I have here power connector 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, I use two USB or two Thunderbolts here one for the display, one for uh, charging another one of my devices. And then you have, I still have two others that I can use here. Um, I don't think there's enough. Oh, I have the HDMI port I can use there. We're going to need more displays. And as you guys can see here, I still have the SD card reader if I ever needed to use it. Um, if I was ever using a traditional camera. Eventually, I do want to use one of the cameras, so I will be using this. SD card reader at some point, um, just not probably in the current cards. Also, as well as you guys can see, you guys can see the cheese grater design there. That's for the exhaust fans that um, that I never hear because I never do enough editing to where I hear those things or nothing that processes enough to where it makes this run. Or at least to my knowledge. I can hear it run. It was the same thing with the Mac Mini. I didn't really ever hear it run. I could choke this up though while editing. Well, this just does it in such a breeze. And you guys can see here on my timeline what I have so far and what I'm going to be adding to this. Um, but this is my SD. I mean, this is my SSD that I edit off of. It's on, it's a Walmart brand, but it honestly does a trick. It's 256 additional gigs. So this puts it at, this is at 512, I believe, and this 225, so you're looking at over 7, 7, 750 about gigs of 
total storage I have so far. I am gonna be buying another one of these because this is almost done. Um, so I'll have well over a terabyte worth of footage that's gonna be on these drives. But if you pretty much edit straight off the memory of this, it's even faster than it is off of, off of an SSD or doing it onto an SSD, but I just prefer to do it off of an SSD than putting it on my actual machine where I put, I put my applications, where I can put other documents and things like that. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And you guys are gonna see how fast it edits in the next clip. Hey guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and detail to you guys, um, this is the editing portion of the Mac Studio and I'm showing you guys exactly how fast it renders video. You guys can see the video that I did about the AMG GT Black Series and how fast this is editing. It did it in a blazing amount of speed. You guys will see towards the end how fast it actually did it in. It was an absolute awesome to see how quick this machine runs and how fast it does render through either 1080, 4K, 1440, I think this was 1440p footage that it ran through, and it did it in no time. It eats it up real fast. Now, mind you, didn't have a lot of edits, didn't have a lot of cuts. I didn't pull a whole lot into it. It was just easy drop cuts, dropping cuts, talking. Um, I think I put a little bit of music into it in the intro and outro, but that was typically it for that video. And as you guys can see here coming up, it did finish in a blazing 58 seconds. That is incredibly fast. Um, so the next video that's going to be shown here is going to be the NBA draft video that I did. Um, that unfortunately didn't do that well, but I kind of knew it wasn't going to do well. Uh, this is also 1440p. And you can see how fast I did this one. This one has a little bit more um, <clears throat> stuff to it with titles. Um, it also has... A little bit more things because it has uh, more layers on top of it, as you guys can see. Um, still the same 1440p though. Um, Rec 207 log. You have H.264 video encoders. Um, pretty much everything was exact same on this one as it was in the last video. Obviously, just with a different name and is a little bit longer of a video. Also, it does have more um, audio clips and also more titles in it, which does. Make it, a little, make it obviously go down a little faster. I mean, makes it a little longer, I'm sorry, um, to video encode, but it was a really smooth and easy process for this type of video as well. I think this one finished under two minutes, but you guys will see the exact speed coming up. Um, what's amazing about this Mac Studio is that it could do it such a fast way, and it can also do it in an efficient way to where it's literally doing frame to frame and it also shows you that's the best thing about DaVinci Resolve that I could say personally is that the way that it shows you exactly how it's editing exactly how it's going frame by frame how it's going each and every way possible and <clears throat> it's honestly so much better than my Mac Mini in terms of this where my Mac Mini would do it but it would do it in like five to six seven minutes where this does it so much faster and I know for this use case, you can still use the Mac Mini to be fine, uh, but trust me, using the Mac Studio, I wouldn't go back to the Mac Mini here, and it did this project in un in about a minute. Thank you guys for watching my latest video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.